Hey. I actually got the recommendation for quite a while to watch The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, which is really popular right now. I think it's partially spin off of the Archie show Riverdale, which I'm still blown away that of all the shows to get a dark and gritty reboot, Archie Comics, though they've had a lot of different versions, and I grew up with Archie Comics. Have not seen Riverdale, in case anyone was wondering. But The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, I only got around to it now, and I've only seen the first episode. You're gonna kill me for this, but I really could not find myself getting into it. And the main reason was it's a style of storytelling and a brand that I really don't get into. It feels like something you would see on ABC or Freeform or the CW. It feels like Pretty Little Liars, like The Lion Game, like Riverdale, and I don't really get into that style of storytelling because it feels a little needlessly melodramatic for my personal taste. Uh, the first few lines kind of sum this up. There's, now she says something like, oh, a girl torn between a magical world and a mortal world, that girl is me. And that feels, <laughs> stuff like that, I mean, that's so true of being a teenager, but it's, I'm a little past that, it's a little cheesy, melodramatic for my personal taste. And I'm also somebody who's never really felt this conflict between worlds thing that other people do feel. So it's something that doesn't really resonate with me because I've had interest in a lot of areas. That and I have preferred other versions of Sabrina. Now I knew the comics. I knew the animated series. I knew the Melissa Joan Hart series. So it's not that it's different. It's just that it's told in a way that doesn't really resonate with me and I I didn't really get into the dialogue so much. It didn't, the dialogue didn't really feel all that natural to me. So, mostly because it felt more like how you talk when you're writing an essay versus how you're actually speaking. And that's pretty clear when they're analyzing the movie in the beginning. So, stuff like that really sucked me out of it. Again, if you like it, that's awesome. And I can see people getting into this style. Actually, I found the music really, really nice. I thought the score was good. But I wasn't feeling the chemistry of the actors either. Again, if you like this, by all means, that's awesome. It's just something I personally don't get into. So afterwards, well, the episode also went in one ear out the other, so I, it didn't really register with me as much who was who. But I did rewatch the Melissa Joan Hart series an episode afterwards, and I really, really liked it. I found it so charming and engaging. I like those characters. It's silly, but it's also so creative. I like that creativity. And I remember, I remember finding how they did the magic really cool. I was interested in the effects. I liked seeing Salem. I liked the when it was a puppet, when it was a real cat. I thought the puppet was really good, how they did Salem. See, I'm not always afraid of puppets, guys. Just certain ones. Salem, I thought, was a really well done puppet, and I always liked seeing how he worked. I liked the voice they picked. I liked his character. I liked Sabrina. I liked the clever ways they dealt with problems with the magic. I... It felt really creative. I know... Well, I also like 90s, early 2000s sitcoms. So sitcoms are also more my style of storytelling. I like animation. I know Sabrina did a lot of animation. So it's just a matter of medium. So yeah, it's a fun show. It's a fun show overall. It's a fun character and it shows that there is staying power with this character considering how many times that she's made an appearance, that she's had different shows with her name. And I think that's really, really cool. Don't really have that much more to say on it. 
feel like I had a more interesting thought and then I lost it. But overall, Sabrina. Oh, one more thing. That This is what I wanted to say. The, I think part of the reason I was also hesitant on the show, this didn't suck me out of it, but it was something that did prevent me from getting it into it at first and was the title. The word chilling has become so overused. And when I hear that word or see that word, I automatically think of clickbait. I think of, there's a couple words that I automatically think of as clickbait. Powerful, problematic, chilling, or terrifying. So <laughs> when I saw that, I'm like, oh God. It didn't suck me out of it completely, but that is how I think. Again, if you like the show, because I don't, I know it's popular right now and people are really getting into it. And I'm developing a new love of horror. So I'm curious to know what people like about it. I'm curious to know what people really get into. I don't think I'm going to continue with this. But it was worth a shot. And uh, thanks for recommending it. I'm, I am glad I gave it a chance.